South Africa is one of four countries in the world with the highest concentration of drug-resistant TB sufferers in the world. Pumeza, a young lady from Cape Town, fell prey to this opportunistic infection. When they check uh, for TB on my sputum results, the results came back negative for two times. Then they say that I must go do the chest x-ray at the nearby clinic. There they told me that, they saw in the x-ray that there, there are spots, so they said that I had TB, so I was late diagnosed. Drug-resistant TB is far harder to treat than the ordinary version of the bacteria. Less than 50% of drug-resistant TB patients can be cured, but early diagnosis does help. Well, on the drug side effects, I experienced uh, quite a few issues, deafness, skin rash, uh, darkness of the skin, vomiting every day, feeling weak. There, this goes on. One of the side effects that I experienced, which is deafness, uh, it destroyed my life because now I can't go back to Cape Tech, which I was studying my first year there. Treatment for drug-resistant tuberculosis can take up to two years. The medication is harsh and strict adherence to the treatment program is required for success and getting another chance at life. I am cured now of uh, XGRT. After a long time, I got it for like three years. So now I'm healed uh, due to the learners that I got from MSF. So I'm not fortunate enough to get the drug, which is expensive here. It is unaffected law. So not everyone is able to get it. So I was lucky enough, I was one of those who were lucky enough to get the second chance in life. A new growing problem is the high incidence of healthcare workers who contract both ordinary and multi-drug resistant TB. Delian is a young doctor who survived the experience. I got diagnosed with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis um, in 2010. It was quite a shock because I'm a healthy person. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I live a healthy lifestyle. Taking multidrug resistant TB treatment is much different from normal TB um, treatment. It's much more brutal, it's got lots of side effects um, and it's, very, it's a long journey. You have to take the treatment for at least 18 months. Luckily after 18 months of treatment I got cured. After that I became very passionate about advocating for these patients because there are a lot of patients suffering out there and uh, we need to do more for them, we need to help them and we definitely need better treatment for multidrug resistant tuberculosis. Infection control systems are being put into place to help to protect our doctors, nurses, physios and other healthcare workers but reducing the risk to zero is impossible. We have got infection control um, policies at most of our health institutions but they are not implemented well. You don't see healthcare workers wearing masks when they should and this is uh, posing a real risk for our healthcare workers um, of contracting tuberculosis. Despite all the efforts put in by both governments and the private sector, TB control is one goal that eludes the healthcare field and industry. We do everything 100% correct. Say we find every TB patient, we put them onto treatment, we treat them. In the year 2050, what is a very frightening statistic for me, we'll still have one million new TB cases every year. So that's really why we need a vaccine. Because a vaccine will not only prevent normal TB, it'll also prevent drug-resistant TB, which is a nightmare that we have at the moment because we don't have effective drugs to treat these patients. Treating multi-drug resistant TB sometimes requires taking up to five different medications, including injections. These medications are expensive, have unpleasant side effects, and have to be taken for months at a time. There are various medications that can be used uh, to treat TB. Um, primarily, uh, all South Africans are vaccinated at birth by using a vaccine called BCG. Uh, BCG, however, does not protect against severe pulmonary um, TB. The next step in the fight against TB is the development of a vaccine. However, funding in this area of research has not been as successful as the public would assume. The need for a TB vaccine is extensive. We see about 1.4 million people uh, or million deaths per year, 9 million cases um, uh, per year. Billions are spent on, on treatment alone nowadays and, and therefore it's important to find a preventative measure to, to eradicate TB. Presently, the UCT South African Tuberculosis Vaccine Initiative is the largest research group in the country and they've begun testing on volunteers. 
Our hope is that in years to come, young people, including our young doctors, needn't fear TB, and that a vaccine is successfully developed right here in South Africa. Mm-hmm.